Would you like an arch based Linux distribution that is easy to use and looks beautiful? Sounds exciting right? This is Ankush from Mitzvahs and here I am going to highlight a few things that you should know about Garuda Linux. Thanks to Linode for partnering with us for this video. Click on the i button for more information or you can check out the link in the description to claim $60 in free credits. Garuda Linux is an arch based Linux distribution that features the sweet theme and icon pack to provide a different look and feel. Especially the KDE edition that we are talking about here. Unlike pure arch, it also includes Calamars installer to make it easy for you to get started with it. You can choose a variety of desktop environments to go with it like GNOME, XFC, Cinnamon, etc. But I focus on Garuda Linux KDE edition coupled with the sweet theme instead of the default plasma look. Once you log in, it greets you with a useful welcome screen that should come in handy for the first time Arch users. The sweet theme pack looks good, maybe a cyberpunk vibe with a neon theme? I guess so. The animation and effects provide a great user experience and having them out of the box on an Arch distribution is definitely something useful for new users. Garuda Linux comes with BTRFS as the default file system. Timeshift backs up the system automatically before each update and you can access the latest 5 snapshots of your system directly from the grub. Now that's something cool, right? To help you install or remove software, it also features the PAMAC package manager that Manjaro also includes to make things easier. Support for the Arch user repository is enabled by default and you also have the option to enable Snap and Flatpak support. In addition to all the basic things that I mentioned, Garuda Linux also offers some specially tailored apps that makes it easy for a new Linux user. Like Garuda Assistant is a graphical interface that makes the operating system's administrative tasks a simple point and click process. It makes it easy to enable various system D services. In addition to this, the Garuda settings manager is identical to Manjaro settings manager. You can easily change the kernel and opt for proprietary NVIDIA drivers in a few clicks. Even though I never suggest Arch Linux for gaming to a new Linux user, the Garuda Gamer app lets you install a bunch of tools and applications to help you start your gaming adventure quickly. Overall, Garuda Linux is one of the Linux distributions that represents a real passion from the developer's side and this can be observed from the amazing selection of tools, features and configurations that you find out of the box. The focus on providing graphical applications for most common tasks make Garuda Linux an ideal choice for users who want to try Arch Linux but not comfortable using the terminal all the time. With only one extra repository on top of Arch Linux repos, it is very close to pure Arch. I have to admit that I was amazed by Garuda Linux and I definitely want you to try it as well. What do you think about Garuda Linux? Are you going to give it a try? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And that's all for this video. See you in the next one.